Ah, uh, Halloween Horror Nights 28. It's more houses than ever. Why wouldn't you be excited? And I must say, they have some good houses from the looks of it for this year. And you're gonna ask, oh, Stop King, are you going to Halloween Horror Nights 28 this year? Why yes, my friend, I am going to Halloween Horror Nights this year, and that's why I'm making this video. I will be going this year to Halloween Horror Nights 28 Orlando with my pals CNR Studios. And what am I gonna do with this video? I'm gonna rank my most anticipated haunted houses. So let's get into it, shall we? Number 10, Slaughter Cinema. Now, I know people are gonna disagree with me on this one, but don't get me wrong, I like all these haunted houses for this year's Halloween Horror Nights. Trust me, I love them. Like, last year I would have a reason to hate them, but for some reason I just like all of them. I like, I like all of them, but if I had to pick my least favorite so far, what my least hyped, it'd be this one. I like the idea of an 80s theater with a bunch of horror movies, but it just doesn't really get me hyped. It's just like not my thing. And I know everything doesn't revolve around me, and trust me, I know that, but it's just really, I'm not really hyped for it. it it's nothing special. And I don't really like the idea of going into the movies from a movie theater, but yeah. Um, well, something I like about this maze is that it's an 80s, it's 80s, um, it's gonna be like 80s horror movie themed, you can tell from like the house reveal. And I do like the design of it so far from like the little sneak peeks they've been giving and on Halloween Horror Nights' channel, well, Universal Orlando's channel, but it's really just not my most hyped house. I'm just not that excited for it. It's just as simple as that. And I think that's about all. Um, I'm still hyped, I'm, well, I'm, I still want to see it, but it's just not my number one most hyped, and I'm not going to be disappointed if I miss out on it this year. Anyway, with that said, how about on to number nine? Number nine. The Horrors of Blumhouse Chapter 2. Now, I am kind of excited for this house. This would probably be my least favorite, or well... I mean, I can't say least favorite because I haven't gone through any of these haunted houses yet because it's just literally a continuation of a house last year that wasn't that good. Um, to be honest, I think this was made for marketing. Like, I don't think they really gave a shit if we liked it or not. It was just for marketing. Like, it was for all the people that, it's for the people that just go to see a horror movie to get scared. Like, they don't care about what's in it. They don't care about the problems. They just care about getting scared. And they think that'll attract people. Like, oh my god, they get the first virgin in. Oh my god, they got happy death today. We gotta, we gotta go there, guys. No, literally. I mean, I think it's... I, It's above Slaughter Cinema because I like the movies that they're putting into it, which is Happy Death Day and The First Virgin. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not the best, but it's definitely better than what they're doing up in Hollywood, which is Unfriended and truth or dare. First of all, how do you make those into haunted houses? Well, I guess we're gonna we already found out, but like, then that's definitely for marketing, marketing because those are two really bad ha movies. I keep saying houses, but what I wanted to see this year was an it haunted house, and I know I can't. We're not. I got my hopes up, and yeah, I think an it house would have been better than this. I would love to see some, another thing replace this like a tv show or a movie hell maybe next year we'll get like a purge tv series haunted house but i really don't want to see that i want to see something else something that will get people to like it not for marketing something that will get people to like the house something that will get people to like the event like do the conjuring or it like do something that they like not just for marketing anyway i am kind of hyped for it i'm kind of not I think I'm more hyped for it than Slaughter Cinema, but on to number eight. Number eight. Now we're getting into the houses that I have a good amount of hype for, and I don't have, from the looks of it, I'm not gonna have any problems with these haunted houses. It's just, they're not my most hyped. And I don't hate them from the looks of it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna hate them. It's just, they're not my most hyped, but, what is number eight, you may ask? Well, it's Seeds of Extinction. Now, I like 
seeds of extinction from what I've heard. I like the plot and I like what's probably going to be in the haunt. If you don't know what the plot is, basically humanity has been wiped out and from a meteor and the meteor caused a bunch of mutant plant creatures to come out and kill any more humans that are alive. Well, that's what I want to say, but basically there's a bunch of mutant plants, mutant killer plants that roam the earth now. And from the looks of it, I think it's going to be pretty scary when I go through it, because I don't know why. I think just the idea of like mutant plants or anything like mutant from the earth just scares me. I don't know why, but I think it just scares me to like see it. I think the costumes are going to be good. I think the atmosphere is going to be good. Now, what makes this thing go down is that it's probably going to be a little short due to where it is. And the fact that there are many other ideas on this list that I like better. But what is one thing that I have a problem with, you may ask? Well, it's probably the fact that they should have just gone with a Little Shop of Horrors theme. Like, it's kind of sounds like a ripoff of Little Shop of Horrors if you kind of take a look at it. But I think it's still pretty good. I like the idea. Seems pretty 80s to me. Um, definitely, but yeah, not my most, not my top six. And I'll tell you why I did top six later. But yeah, um, not my most hype, but I am pretty excited for it. On to number seven. Number seven. Scary Tales, Deadly Ever After. Well, I'm just going to call it Scary Tales. If you don't know what Scary Tales is, um, it's been a franchise of haunted houses at Halloween Horror Nights since 2001. If you don't know the origin, basically it was originally going to be like a theme park haunted house, but then due to 9-11, they had to tone down the violence and... I had to rename a bunch of things, so they like turned blood into ooze and everything. And they named the thing back into, they named it to Scary Tales. And it turned into like a bunch of horrifying fairy tales. Basically, it's um, horror versions of your favorite fairy tales like Snow White or Jack and the Beanstalk or the Three Little Pigs. Stuff like that. Like, it's going to have gnomes and stuff. Anyway. They're going to be bringing it back this year, and this will be my first time going through any Scary Tales Haunted House, because I've never been through any of the Scary Tales Haunted Houses. I think it's going to be pretty cool, because I work in a haunted house myself, and we've done like horrifying fairy tales before, so I'm excited. Um, what we're going to see is the Wicked Witch of the West in a horrifying version. We're going to see like the Seven Dwarfs and everything. We're going to see everything in fairy tales. We'll probably see maybe Goldilocks. We'll probably see Little Red Riding Hood. Everything fairy tales in a more fucked up manner. So that makes it number seven. Now, why isn't this higher on the list? I mean, I from the these other haunted houses, these are catching my attention from like their themes. Trust me, I like the idea of this, but these themes for these other haunted houses like top are higher. Like, they catch my interest more than Scary Tales. Don't get me wrong, I love the Scary Tales, but these other ideas I like better. Alright, on to number six. Number six. Carnival Graveyard Rust in Pieces. Now, I'm very hyped for this maze, especially since it's a carnival theme. Like, who is not excited for a carnival themed haunted house? Because you know what carnival means? clowns and you all know that clowns are scary and if you remember Googles and Gore Inc. from Halloween Horror Nights 2014 it was a pretty scary maze I liked it so I'm excited for a clown maze um it would be cool if they could bring back Jack or Chance but this is getting me really hyped what does worry me and what makes this not the highest on the list is because it's in where The Shining was from last year, and it's that's not a really big soundstage. I think it's still going to be um, a good haunted house. It'll just be kind of short. Like, unless they're sharing the, um, the bigger soundstage to make this haunted house. I may be wrong, but it's definitely not my most hyped. And it definitely would be compared to other mazes on this list. So yeah, Carnival Graveyard is on my number six, but it is definitely... One of my most hyped mazes of 2018. Now on to number five. 
number five. Dead exposure, patient zero. What makes me hyped for this maze is that Universal claims that this was one of their scariest haunted houses. Now, from what I've heard, it does sound pretty fucking scary. I mean, basically, Dead Exposure is a haunted house where there's a zombie apocalypse, and the way you get scared, well, basically, the whole haunt is pitch black, and the only way you can see people is from flashing lights, and that's how you get jump scared. In my opinion, that sounds pretty damn scary. And now that they're bringing it back this year, it makes me hyped. It's probably going to be different a little bit since Patient Zero, but I cannot wait to experience this house. Now, they could, what makes this not the highest on my list, what makes it number four is that, I mean, they could put more than just a bunch of blackout stuff, like... Can't, hopefully the sets are good. That's what I hope. Not, it's not just a bunch of like black light zombies or not just like a bunch of sets with black walls. Now I kind this is what I wish. I wish they could have like done some actually like pitch black rooms and flashing lights. Like what they're gonna do, like what they're already doing. Because I've seen some videos, but I also wish they could have done some like neon rooms so we can see some of the sets and then like the lights go out and then they scare us. But, I mean, it, of course, it, the world doesn't revolve around me. I just would have liked to see that. But don't worry. This is definitely one of top five hyped mazes for 2018. And now it's only going to get better. So, what's number four, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you. Number four. Poltergeist. Poltergeist has me hyped because it's such a great movie. And from the videos I've seen so far, it looks pretty damn scary. Not like impressive sets or anything, since it's from a movie, and that's really... That's what people find interesting about the IP mazes, not like... The original mazes they think are scarier, but I think so far from what I've seen, this looks like the scariest haunted house. Now, I am not going to know that until I go through it. it can, my opinion could change, but so far this house looks pretty scary. I'm definitely excited to see the facade for this house. I'm really excited to see how they pull it off. Like, I'm excited to see how the TV scene. I'm definitely excited to see the clown doll. You don't know how hyped I'm, I am to see the damn clown doll. I, I want to see that so bad. That's like the scariest part of that movie. I would love that. I am going to love that because I'm going to be going through it, hopefully, if the waits aren't too long. Anyway, this is looking like an epic maze. And now, this maze doesn't look like it has a lot of problems. I mean, black walls, but since usually I'm okay with that. I'm okay with black walls. It makes the room darker. Sometimes black walls are used as an excuse since because there's nothing else to put. For an example, like in um, The Shining... There was quite a bit of black walls because there was literally like nothing else to put. There's been a lot of mazes with black walls. And there and but you see it fits perfectly here. Because it's poltergeist and it's a supernatural movie. And from what I've seen, the black walls are actually good in this haunt. But I'm just hoping there's not too much. Anyway, with the these top three haunted I mean I'm just looking at my list here. Um, the current top four haunted houses literally are now in order of how hyped I am, which I mean that in a way where like, I'm just excited now because of the movies and TV shows they're going to be based off of. It's literally not the, there's literally like no more problems. It's just like the movies and TV shows they're based off of now. On to number three. Number three. Trick or Treat. Last year, Trick or Treat was a scare zone at Howling Horror Nights 2017 Orlando. And oh my god, that scare zone was probably the best scare zone of 2017. It was so cool. You had lights everywhere. It, you felt like you were in the movie. You felt like you were on the streets of Ohio in that movie. You felt like you were in the movie. You felt like you were experiencing the events. You felt like you were on, you were in a town on the night of Halloween, and something was going horribly wrong. And the movie is great. An anthology movie with a little character named Sam, who looks pretty cool, and 
he's behind all of this madness in the movie. I think it's pretty cool, and I am excited to see them adapt it into a maze. What's kind of worrying me, though, is what the League of Extraordinary Vloggers says about, like, too many hallways. Like, due to the all, like, the little stories, there's going to be probably a lot of hallways to transport you into different scenes. It kind of worries me. Like, I don't want this to just be a house with hallways. You gotta have a bunch of scenes, too. I am really excited, though, to see the Sam scares. Like, I am... I love Sam. Like, he's probably one of my favorite horror characters. And I just can't wait to see him scare the shit out of people. And I want them to reuse the an American Werewolf in London animatronics. If you guys don't haven't seen the movie, there is a section where there's a bunch of teenage werewolves. And they, they turn into, like, full wolves. And Sam's at the end of the little story. And I want them to use one of the animatronics from an American werewolf in London as a little nod or to make things easier. I thought I think it would be cool. And trick or treat, I am beyond excited to see this maze. And I'm gonna be sad if we miss it. So, what's number two, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you. Number two. Stranger Things. Stranger Things is an amazing TV show, and it's a really good horror TV show. And when Halloween Horror Nights 2017 ended, there were three haunted houses that I wanted Halloween Horror Nights to make. Michael Myers, It 2017, and Stranger Things. They didn't make It 2017 this year, but they did choose Stranger Things. This is an amazing marketing decision. Now you're going to say, Wait, don't you dislike the whole marketing options? That's just for marketing? Well, this is something that people like. This is like that almost everyone likes this show. And I would love to see it as a haunted house. I'd love to see the Demogorgon. I'd love to see the Upside Down. I'd love to see all that. And it's going to really hype me to see all that come to Halloween Horror Nights. I want to see how they the kids bond in this maze. I want to see like... All the scenery, which I know the scenery is going to be good. So, this is going to be my most hyped, second most hyped maze. Um, but, but, there is one haunted house that tops all of these haunted houses. And I'm going to tell you that house right now. Number one. What is this haunted house that is my number one most hyped, you may ask? Well, I actually gave you a hint Little did you know, while this video was happening, you know the little music that I played while I was listing things, like when it said number two or number three, it was playing the Halloween theme? Yeah, that's a little hint. If you know that I'm a huge ass fan of Michael Myers, that I'm probably his number one fan that's under the age of 18, you already know what my number one most hyped is. And, you, and plus, if you know what houses they're going to bring to Orlando this year, you definitely know what house is number one for me. That's right, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, is my number one most hyped haunted house for 2018. Every Michael Myers haunted house that I've been through, which is one, there's only one that I've been through, which is Halloween from Halloween Horror Nights 24, which is the first ever time I went, that house scared me. Like, that was the scariest haunted house I've ever been through. And I loved it because I'm a huge fan of Michael Myers. It was scary. And they did a good job on literally every scene. I felt like I was in the movie. And that's what you say with every... That's what everyone says. But literally, I felt like I was in the movie in this maze. And on videos, it looks like the masks are shit. But for some reason, like, they were all good when I went through. And I didn't get to go to Halloween Horror Nights 2016, which is probably their best year due to the themes they had. Um, I heard that... Hell Comes to Haddonfield was an amazing haunted house. I heard it was really scary. Um, and now they're bringing Halloween 4. And I already know. I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty scary. They always do a good job with their Michael Myers haunted houses. And as a Michael Myers fan, I'm excited. Especially since Halloween 4 is a pretty good entry in the franchise. Now, there is one thing I do not like. What they're doing with this haunted house this year in Orlando. They're putting it inside one of the Shrek 4D theaters. Now, what's my problem with that? It means we're not getting one of those amazing facades. That's my problem. 
Seriously, I'd love to see either a Myers house or a Penny's gas station house. Hell, maybe even Jamie and Rachel's house. That would have been pretty good. Anyway, this is my number one most hyped because I'm a Michael Myers fan. They always do a good job with their Halloween mazes. And the scene, well, what I was about to say is the scenery, but they always do a good job with their Halloween mazes. I'm a big fan of Michael Myers. And the fact that it's a classic movie. It's a good entry in the franchise. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will be going to Halloween Horror Nights very soon with CNR Studios, and I will possibly make a video about that. I don't know, it's not confirmed. I'll probably post on Instagram, but that's only for my friends, so haha. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about all guys. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Also, one thing that sucks ass is that we're not getting the Universal Classic Monsters Maze music by Slash in Orlando. Come on, Universal, what the fuck? It looks like such a good maze from all the videos. Why can't you just get rid of, like, the horrors of Blumhouse or Slaughter Cinema and replace one of those with Universal Monsters? Like, we are fucking jealous. It looks like such a good house. Come on, guys.